now turning deadly, also triggering possible tornadoes. Images of the devastation just coming in all day to our newsroom. Homes and buildings leveled. Harvey is moving inland toward its next target in Houston. We also have learned that there is a flood emergency for all of Houston, and that's where we find ABC's Lana Zach. She starts off our live team coverage tonight. Good evening. As we are coming on the air right now, emergency flash flood warnings have just been issued for Houston and the area surrounding it as the rivers and bayous are now beginning to crest. Harvey has moved in on the Gulf Coast and the storm doesn't look like it's going anywhere soon. The storm is not over. It's stagnated. It's a slow moving storm. Please do not come back into these affected areas. The fiercest hurricane to hit the U.S. in more than a decade flattened areas of Texas, ripping the roofs off of buildings, sinking boats, and in Rockport, one of the area's hardest hit, the debris flew through the air, projectiles slicing through metal. The daylight revealing nearly all-encompassing devastation. Police say that hundreds are now homeless. ABC's Matt Gutman visited those that stayed in Rockport, gathered now in this darkened elementary school. It's eerie walking down the hallway. There are cots everywhere you look. But the devastation not limited to Rockport, the bullseye of the storm in Aransas Pass. You see all the damage around here. That's when everything went hell. Hell and half back there. That's when, wow, wow, wow. That's when everything went bouncing and giving it hell. And even after Harvey was downgraded to a tropical storm, it continued its assault with at least eight tornadoes reported, two in Louisiana and six in Texas, like this one spotted just outside of Houston. All of this alongside the promise of torrential rains that may continue for days. We want to do everything we possibly can uh, to keep people out of rising water. And mandatory, mandatory evacuation orders have just been issued for Richmond here in Texas. We have heard about several voluntary uh, evacuation orders regarding the flooding. This one is now mandatory. They are urging everyone to get to higher ground. Reporting live from Houston, Lana Zach, ABC News. Back to you. Well, here's a look at Tropical Storm Harvey right now. Maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour. And notice where we see all the red shading showing up on satellite. This is where the heavy rain continues to fall tonight. Houston under a uh, flood emergency right now due to this band of showers and thunderstorms coming off the coastline. This yellow outlined area is a tornado watch in effect until 2 o'clock local time. We've seen multiple reports of tornadoes earlier this evening. But take a look at this rain band in particular coming into the Houston area where we see the red shading upwards of two and a half inches falling per hour and this band extends far off the coastline so unfortunately more to come as we head into the overnight hours for the Houston area and some places outside of Houston have already seen a foot of rain coming up we'll have a look at your extended forecast in just a bit we're talking the early half of the week when we will be tracking some wet weather so stay tuned for that Kimberly back to you all right thanks Molly yeah we are much luckier here though and last night some lucky dogs right here on ABC 7, we introduce you to workers at a local animal rescue trying to save the dogs and cats impacted by Tropical Storm Harvey. Well, since that story aired, the shelter says they have been inundated with calls to help. And as Amy O'Bear shows us, now their efforts are expanding yet again. Yes, I know. Look at you, Bibby. Mary Hickey is giving these pups a second chance. We saw the news uh, last night and we said, you know, we need to go back up and help out some more. Helping out with plans to foster just one puppy from the truckload that arrived from areas near where Hurricane Harvey was expected to hit. We showed the pups right here on ABC 7 last night. I know I can't save them all, but if I take one, then it gives another one a chance. Instead, she and her husband went home with two. It's like grandchildren. <laughs> We had calls all day today, and it's a beautiful thing. People want to help. Workers spent Saturday loading up a trailer. They plan to take down food and supplies and bring back animals from the shelters. So we do kind of come together as a country when there's an emergency. Sharpley says they're also expecting hundreds of dogs to arrive this coming week. Some from Texas, others from outlying areas. Obviously, that's way beyond our capacity. So we're really reaching out for foster homes to help. She's now teaming up with with other rescues to help take in as many animals as they can. 
The Humane Society of the United States says they've deployed their animal rescue team to Texas and in a statement saying in part that they are working with local groups to assist as well. Yeah, you ready? Go home. The groups are making a difference one animal at a time. 12-week-old Steeler is one of only seven puppies out of a group of about 80 from outlying areas impacted by the hurricane still looking for a home. In Waldorf, Amy O'Bear, ABC 7 News. Not for long after that video, Amy. All right, as for helping the people, right now dozens of Red Cross volunteers from our area are already on the ground in Texas. More are on the way. Our ABC7 cameras were rolling as emergency vehicles were getting ready to be deployed today. Some of the volunteers are heading out tomorrow for what's expected to be a very long recovery effort because of all the flooding. We spoke to one woman who got the call late last night. She's flying to Houston to help manage a shelter. No matter how little sleep you get or how much extra work it is, somebody's always better off when you're finished, so that's why you do it. This storm's going to leave many areas uninhabitable, and, uh, you know, we will be there with everyone as long as we're needed. The Red Cross says they have already helped nearly 2,000 people get to shelters. Maryland Task Force One and Virginia Task Force One remain on standby tonight. You can get the very latest updates on Harvey and our local forecast no matter where you are. Just download the Stormwatch 7 weather app for the forecast right there at your fingertips. And stay with us for another live report coming from Texas in just a few minutes. New tonight, police have charged three more people in connection with the violence at a white nationalist rally in Charlottesville from earlier this month. Richard Preston was arrested in Maryland for firing a gun near a school during the rally. Daniel Borden and Alex Ramos are both charged in...